The Urple Guy V3 mod just dropped and this one has an interesting backstory and a ton of characters to cover. Now I'm sure most of you can tell, this mod is actually based off Five Nights at Freddy's aka the FNAF series, which is basically just a bunch of indie survival horror games created by Scott Cawthon. And in case you didn't know, the official movie just dropped October 27th, I'm pretty sure. Now the first character that we need to speak about here is obviously going to be Urple Guy considering that this is his mod. Now this character is based off a meme called Why Is He Urple that was from a TikTok user by the name of Adia. This person was commenting on a video that had a cat with purple spots and they misspelled purple as Urple when trying to ask, why is the cat purple? A meme was formed around this misspelling and really started to gain traction when connected with jokes around Michael Afton from the Five Nights at Freddy's series. And a fun fact, even though the meme is usually associated with Michael Afton, the mod is actually based itself around William Afton. Now a disturbing fact that I read while researching for this video is that apparently when Urple Guy kills his victims, he scoops up their remains and he dumps them into the actual bodies of the animatronics. Which is super creepy, but I guess it's better than actually putting them in there while they're still alive. Live. <laughs> now the next characters I want to talk about are actually going to be boyfriend and girlfriend and while we don't get to see exactly how or why they are battling against Urple Guy, I don't think anyone's going to be surprised. In most of the FNF mods, they simply break into the place because they're bored or they stumble into it on accident and then have to battle all the animatronics anyway. But what actually caught my attention is the fact that this version of Boyfriend and Girlfriend have different names and they even have new designs. Boyfriend's name in this mod is actually Brooks and when you actually look at the rendered version of him he looks like this. While Girlfriend's name is Grace just like in the soft mod and she actually looks like this when you render her out. And honestly I'm actually a fan of the designs. I always think it's kind of cool to see the different versions of Boyfriend and Girlfriend. With that being said let's move over to another character who is simply called Man and he is actually an original character created as a joke for this mod. His obsession with NFTs and trying to make money with them actually causes him and his friends to go bankrupt and get evicted, which is what you actually see in this cutscene here. <laughs> The second version of him that we see in the mod in this trench coat is called Money Bags, and this is him after taking Purple Guy's advice to steal and sell children. And judging by the sack of money he has, I assume that the business is going well. Next up we have a short one, and this guy's named Orange Guy, which is another typo. His name is obviously supposed to be Orange Guy, and he is from the Midnight Motorist minigame of the Pizzeria Simulator. Next we see a character that has a little bit more meat to his story, and that's going to be Henry Emily, aka the Desk Guy. Many of you are probably familiar with this character because he acted as the co-founder of Freddy Fazbear Pizza, his partner obviously being William Afton. Later we actually saw that Henry felt so bad about all the child murders that Afton was able to commit that he ends up trying to end Afton's legacy by setting fire to Fazbear Entertainment. I assume that's why we see the place go up in flames in the actual mod as well. Something else that's interesting here is that at the end of the song titled Terminated, we see Henry is murdered at his desk, which is technically how he dies in FNAF as well. What is most interesting here though is that Circus Baby is the killer, and for those of you that may not remember her, she was created by William Afton and was supposed to be like the mascot of the Circle Baby's pizza world. However, she was actually programmed to count children, and when there was only one, she would deposit ice cream to lure the child to her to kill them. Now the reason that this caught my attention is that some people say that Death Man is like a alternate version of Henry Emily and he is the one that actually built Baby and he actually used this animatronic to assist him in his own death. And I think that this is why we actually see Baby pop up in the mod and crush Death Man's head on his desk. Next up we have Shadow Bonnie and just like his name suggests he is a shadowy version of Bonnie who randomly appears in the office as the Easter egg in FNAF 2. 
We also see him as a playable character in the mini game in FNAF 3, and he also appears in games such as the Ultimate Custom Knight and FNAF Special Delivery. Next up, we have a character that I know needs no introduction, and that's Matt Pack. Most of you probably know him from his channel called The Game Theorist, where even to this day, some of his most popular videos are from his FNAF series. Something that I found interesting in his mind though is that this version of Matt Pat isn't actually the real Matt Pat, but rather a skinwalker that has taken his form. And for those of you that don't know what a skinwalker is, a skinwalker is basically a witch that has the ability to turn into different creatures, usually animals, but humans can also be victims as well. And since we're talking about YouTubers, we may as well go ahead and look at Mark next, and I don't think anybody is surprised to see Markiplier in a FNAF mod. He's definitely one of the OG YouTubers that played this game when it first came out and benefited from FNAF greatly, but also really helped the game get a lot of exposure as well. And in all honesty, I'm surprised that nobody has made a FNAF mod with Corey Kenshin in it because he also is one of those OG YouTubers that really blew up off FNAF and kind of put FNAF on the map if we're being honest. <laughs> I freaking did it! I freaking did it! Next we have a little character here named Cake Bear, and he's actually from the minigame in FNAF 2 called Cake to the Children. And after him, we see a character called Old Man Consequences, who is from FNAF World and is trapped in the fourth sub tunnel, fishing at a puddle, and oddly enough, there isn't a whole lot of information about this character. Some people think that he represents what happens when a person makes bad decisions, basically being forced to sit alone fishing but never actually able to catch anything. And something that I find funny about that is for some people that would be like paradise for them. There are a ton of people who just like to sit out with a pole and just fish even if they don't catch anything. The next character we see is called Salvage Fredbear and if I remember correctly this guy was actually a hoax originally and he was based off a teaser for Springtrap. And then once some of the artists on DeviantArt actually got hold of this image, they took it and created a completely new character, which is how we ended up getting Salvage Fredbear. The next character you know for sure if you're a FNAF fan, and that is Abdul, and he's basically like a TikTok beatboxer. And one of the things that really blew him up was when he created a beatbox of the Living Tombstone's FNF1 song. <laughs> Next, we have this little creepy doll, but if I remember correctly, this guy was actually created by William Afton to spy on his youngest son, aka the crying child, who we also get to play as in this mod. The next characters appear in a song called Faz News, and they're based on the Springtrap and Mangle YouTube series made by Quiet Tomato. The show basically shows Springtrap being kind of a grump just trying to read his newspaper while Mangle is full of energy and distracting him. The specific version that I'm showing here is from the 4 year anniversary video. But definitely check out Quiet Tomatoes channel because the animations are kind of cute. The next character we see in the mod is going to be Henry Miller and he is based on Day Shift at Freddy's which is a fan made choose your own adventure action RPG trilogy loosely based on the story of the original Five Nights at Freddy's games. The mod specifically takes place during the climax of Day Shift at Freddy's 3 in a place called The Flip Side, which is basically where Lost Souls go. Next we see Boyfriend battling against the shadow variants of the core animatronics and it seems that he and Girlfriend have gotten split up. When doing my research, it said that Shadow Freddy managed to place some traumatic memories into Boyfriend's head, which may be why he sees all these children swinging in the background, and also why all their faces are distorted. Now while I don't know much about the Shadow Variants, I think it's more to do with the fact that there's just not a lot of information about them. They're simply kind of a mystery. But with that being said, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out this video on the screen here. Subscribe today to become a member of the Ors Force, and we'll see you tomorrow with another video. Peace, peace.